Hey guys. So I uh, just went live seconds ago, and of course I'm in a hurry. I've got to go get my munchkin from school, but I want this project finished. And I really want to share it with you because this one's got me excited. Okay, so um, I went live. My phone died, of course, so here I am again. Let's try it this way. Um, I was showing you just a few minutes ago that I am working on etching. Don't know if, how well you can see that. I brought over a light. Let's see if I can make it light up a little bit there. So I have etched that into the top of, isn't it cool? It's etching, and it's in the top of a lantern. It says warm wishes, and then it's got like this Christmas snowflakey star on it. So I just want to share with you real quick how we do it. We've got our glass. This one has already got warm wishes in it. So let's see if I can get it to show up really well. Let's see if it says warm wishes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our chalk couture transfers. I'm just going to shut that off because that's just way too bright for me. And I'm going to try and line them up. So because it's rounded, it's not going to fit perfectly, but it is going to fit pretty good. You're trying to get as much of the air bubbles out as possible. And trust me, you're not really going to get them all unless you stretch this transfer out of place. But So you're just going to press it down just to seal it in there really well around all the edges. So that's our chalk couture transfer is on there. And you can see the wrinkles, but as long as your wrinkles aren't going into the mesh part, the silk screen, we should be good to go. Then we're going to take our etching cream. Now, this is not a Chalk Couture product. This I found on Amazon, and it's called Armor Etch for Glass Etching. It comes out looking like Mod Podge, except for it's got chunks in there. You had to stir it really well. It was kind of separated when I got it, and you're literally going to cake it on there. You could put it on really smooth and... You know, it would look like just a glaze on there, but I don't think it would work well. It, from the instructions that I've heard and seen, you need a good layer of it. So just make sure you've got your silk screen area all covered up. And I can tell you so far, I've done it twice with um, the Warm Wishes little transfer, the mini. And the transfer is still sticky. I washed it after and everything. We're still good to go. It didn't dissolve it. It's working perfectly. But, you know, if it's going to eat glass, it'll probably eat other stuff. So I don't, you know, don't take your best piece out and try it until you've played with something crappy first. Anyways, so we've just caked it on, and it's going to sit there for five minutes. That's it. That's all. And then we're going to rinse it off. So in the meanwhile... I'm going to do a little project with you. I've just got my little board and base. Hang tight. I'm just killing time here just until that's ready to come off. Okay? So I've got my board and base. I'm going to show you how quick we can do a project in between doing a different project. I'm going to take my... Oh, yeah. When you work in fetching cream, you're supposed to wear gloves. I forgot. Good thing I didn't get any on me yet. Because that stuff will hurt, man. Okay. So I've got my little transfer. Do, 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 do. We're going to rub our finger along the edge and it'll peel. It's the easiest way to do it without, you know, wrecking it. You're going to line it up. Now, because it sinks down into the base, probably about a half inch, I'm going to go closer to the top of the, the board. So it's going to try and be centered from side to side, but not from top to bottom. I am off. This has been used before, so I don't have to fuzz it, by the way. If it was brand new and hasn't been used before, you would want to stick it to a tea towel or a terry cloth towel would be the most recommended besides our fuzzing cloth, of course, which is terry cloth on one side, microfiber on the other for cleaning. 
Anyway, carrying on with what I was doing. You're going to stick her down. Give her a little rub. Make sure she's on there pretty good. Make sure you got some squeegees clean. I've been busy working, so I wasn't sure if I even had them. Ooh. Where's my copper? Should I go copper or should I go brown? Oh, let's go copper. Okay. No, that's going to get too technical. i got to get going. i got to pick up my munchkin, and that stuff has to be off in a few minutes. Okay. Going to take my white paste. Give it a little stir. Making sure I scrape down the sides. That's where pigments like to hang out, people, is at the sides and at the bottom. I'm just going to set that aside. It cleans up. It's just paste. This one seems a little runny. I might have watered it down a little too much. Let's hopefully it works. I'm going to take it, see if I can get it in the screen here. And we're just going to work from top to bottom and squeegee that sucker on. Oh, look at that. I have my glove in there now. I'm a disaster today. Just squeegee that on. This is like chalk couture for beginners. Stick the transfer on after you've fuzzed. Apply your paste, which should be a little thicker than this. This is a little too runny. It's supposed to be in a yogurt or a sour cream consistency. If you're wondering why you should be sitting here watching this for anybody just stopping on, it's because I'm going to show you that etching cream when it gets rinsed off. I know we've done lots of these videos. This is, you know, this is just normal, normal chalk couturing. But we're just killing time and getting some projects done while we're waiting for our etching cream to set up. And eat through that glass. We are almost at the time. Just squeegeeing off the excess. You don't want to waste that stuff. Like liquid gold, baby. Putting it back in the container. Then we're going to peel and reveal. So you're going to lift the corner up a little bit. So you can get both corners. Ta-da! I'm going to set that aside. It's got to go in a water bath, but I don't want to do it with my etching cream water bath. And check that out. Make sure there's no ink on my, or paste on my fingers. Isn't that beautiful? And it's like that quick. That's going to dry. You don't even have to top coat that. That's going to dry like rock hard. Like this guy behind me. So you can rub and scratch and it's not coming off until you add water. And then, of course, it will come off. Baby wipes. Do I have baby wipes handy? Of course not. Hmm. Oh, I got a rag. It's a salve rag, but it's a rag. Just dip a corner in. Just to clean up my little mess here so I can get back to the other stuff. This is what they call a hot mess, people. One project to the next and making a mess as I go. All right, closing up my paste. And I am over five minutes now, so this stuff can come off. So what I've got is my bucket of water, just because that's what I had handy in the shop right now. And I've got my glass, which has that transfer on it, and the etching paste. And I'm just going to peel it back. Oh, it's so cool. And I'm going to dunk that in there. I'll wash it off in a few minutes. I don't want it stuck to my cloth, though. Come on, 
Get in there. I need the cloth. Okay. So now this needs to get rinsed. Can you see it on there? It's showing up really good, but we're going to wash that off. See if you can see the warm wishes part. Kind of sort of see it. Can you see it better in front of my clothes or up high? I guess you see it better. See where it just in the light it says warm wishes? It looks much better actual like in front of your face kind of than it does on a live. Okay, we're just going to set that in there for a few seconds. And then we're going to rinse it off. Hello to Christine and to Lizzie and to Tara and to Paulette. Hope you guys are all having a creative day. I look a mess in case you just jumped on because, well, I'm busy working in the shop getting ready for my um, Christmas craft show. And I'm just jumping from project to project to project. And this one was really cool and I just had to share it with you. So then you're just going to wash it off. Again, you're supposed to have your gloves on. I keep forgetting to stick them back on. Because that stuff is going to eat in my skin. That's it. That's all. Now, this is dishwasher safe. This is, you know, you could do whatever you normally do with your glass stuff after you've etched it because it's literally ate into the glass. It's not just a coating on top. You cannot peel it away. It is forever, ever, ever there. Can you see it? Let's see if I can do it in front of the light, maybe. How am I going to get a good view? It's probably because it's wet, too. But etching cream. If you haven't tried it, it's awesome. Like I said, I don't know if it works with all transfers, stencils, etc. But I can tell you it is working awesome with the chalk tours. See. Oh, there we go. You can see it. See along the. There we go. It looks really cool. It says warm wishes. It's got a Christmas snowflakey star. Now we've got two of them that are going on lanterns. Awesome. And that's it. That's all. So there it is. Buy it on Amazon. Of course, up here, we're Amazon.ca, and uh, it kind of looks like a Mod Podge, but it's a lot stronger than a March Podge because it eats glass. Um, not supposed to get it on skin, supposed to wear gloves, all that fun stuff. You know, read your instructions and your warnings and um, do as it says, not as I do. And uh, hope you have fun being crafty, and if you want to try it out, there you go. If you liked what you've seen, share, share, share. I would love it. Um, Everybody should know about etching cream with uh, Chalk Couture products. It works awesome. And I will talk to you later. i got to go get my munchkin from school. Okay, bye.